going on guys welcome back to the channel this here is going to be a little bonus video i was going to go ahead and do this off camera but i need to get my guppies into a new home so today we will be giving our guppies a new home and our flounders i got them all crammed in the 10 gallons so we're going to go ahead well i got some in the 10 gallon i got some in the five gallon so with that being said we're going to go ahead get these guppies into their new home which is going to be a 20 long that's empty right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that and then we'll go ahead get our guppies into their new home all right guys so over here we got these we got this five gallon here i don't have i don't have the lights on on it or nothing right now it's uh kind of late at night but we got the five gallon here with a bunch of just uh feeder guppies in there and then I got two flounders in there and then down here we got our other guppy tank let me turn the light on all right so we got our other guppy tank down here it's probably got I don't know a hundred guppies in there or so I don't know maybe maybe a hundred seventy five something like that it's a lot of babies in there though but um, I'm going to go ahead and catch all those guppies out of this 10 gallon and out of this five gallon and then we're going to go ahead and move them over here into this tank i got a my son my son he threw that pvc pipe and stuff in there i'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there and then uh also we got this this cichlid in here i'm gonna get him out put him down there in a different tank and then We'll go ahead and get the guppies moved over into this tank. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So in the midst of me catching these fish, I want to go ahead and show you guys the flounder. Um, they actually, this one has gotten pretty big. It was like the size of a dime when I got it. And now it's about the size of, I'm going to say it's the size of a quarter now at least sorry about that glare so yeah i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the flounder while i was in the midst of uh catching the rest of the fish which i've already caught all the fish out of that 10 gallon and i moved them over and i caught all the guppies out of this tank and moved them over and now i just got to get the flounders and then there is one ghost shrimp in there um he's well, the tank is kind of dirty, all that in the tiger, but he is sitting right there on that uh, Christmas moss or whatever. So let me go ahead and finish catching these guys out. I just wanted to give you guys a shot of that flounder. All right, guys. So I got everybody moved in to their new home. Just a bunch of guppies. Um, the flounders, I think the flounders have been eaten some of the fry, whatever fry they can catch. That's just what flounders do. Um, they are hunters by nature and, uh, they will eat anything that can fit in their mouth. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the move and, uh, I'm pretty sure that the fish are happy about it too. They got a bigger home, so. I'm just glad I could get these guys into a, a bigger place and uh, let them do whatever they're going to do. And hopefully the flounders will get a nice growth spurt. I'm just uh, growing them out to see exactly how big they're going to get because I haven't seen flounders that big in freshwater. All right, guys. So here's the rack. It holds three 10 gallons. I went ahead and moved everything off. I'm going to move that up out of here just to clear up some space one last look at the guppy tank from the top view up close guppies are looking good I don't really care if they uh, what kind they are or anything I'm just I just like them just because I've had them for so long so and I went ahead and put a couple plants and stuff in there that was in that five gallon with the uh, with the flounders Okay, so that sums it up for today. I just did something quick, fast, and uh, it actually only took me about 
maybe 20 minutes to go ahead, get all the fish out, get them moved over into their new home, put the light on there, rig the, 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 the lid up so the light could sit on there. I had to use two, two and a half gallon lids and then uh, put those on there, sit the light on them to balance it out. But the 300 gallon series is out part one and part two if you have not tuned into that make sure you tune in and watch both parts part three is going to drop after this video so by the time you guys see this video part three will already be in the making but that's my time for today guys and with that being said remember always feed the fish holla